Hi everybody, welcome to another family devotion. And today our devotion is called Taken Away by Guards. As always, I have a question. Have you ever needed to get stitches? Or here's another question. Have you ever broken a bone? Now I've never needed stitches, but when I was in P5, I fractured my elbow. Let me tell you how it all happened. We had a day um, off school, well out of school, and um, because we had been invited along to be part of a sports day with Ballymena Rugby Club. In the morning they taught us how to play a little bit of touch rugby and before lunch they let us play a game, split us into two teams against each other. Uh, I was having fun but in the middle of the game I collided with one of my friends and both of us fell. The problem was that when I land it, I land it on my arm. And to make things worse, my friend who also fell landed on my back, which meant that all of our weight landed on my arm. And that's what did the damage. So I had to go to casualty and they, they worked out pretty quickly. I'd broken my elbow and it was really painful. It took a couple of months for my elbow to heal. I had to keep it up in a sling and I had one of these big hard casts on it to protect it. I had to be patient and I had to allow it time to heal. I wonder if you experienced that or maybe you've had a, a bad cut that needed covered with a bandage or fixed with some stitches. Even then you'll have to wait patiently for all of it to heal. In our Bible passage today we read about someone who got hurt but they didn't have to wait long for things to be back to normal. Let's see what happened. Look Chapter 22, verses 47 to 54. While Jesus was speaking, a crowd came up. One of the 12 apostles was leading them. He was Judas. He came close to Jesus so that he could kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, are you using the kiss to give the Son of Man to his enemies? The followers of Jesus were standing there too. They saw what was happening. They said to Jesus, Lord, should we use our swords? And one of them did use his sword. He cut off the right ear of the servant of the high priest. Jesus said, stop. Then he touched the servant's ear and healed him. Those who came to arrest Jesus were the leading priests, the soldiers who guarded the temple and the Jewish elders. Jesus said to them, why did you come out here with swords and sticks? Do you think I'm a criminal? I was with you every day in the temple. Why didn't you try to arrest me there? But this is your time. The time when darkness rules. They arrested Jesus and took him away. They brought him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed them, but he did not go near Jesus. At this point in the Easter story, Judas has already told the religious leaders that he will hand Jesus over to them so that they can have him killed. Jesus is now at the Mount of Olives praying, and that's when this crowd appears to arrest them. Imagine how Jesus must feel as Judas comes along and kisses him. A kiss in those days, well, it was a sign of friendship and loyalty. But there was Judas betraying Jesus for the sake of some money. Jesus must have been so sad and felt so let down. But then imagine how the disciples would have felt. They were probably really angry and ready to defend Jesus. We see that some of them are up for a fight and one of them reacts suddenly and actually cuts the ear of one of the high priest's servants with his sword. You might want to cheer as you read that, but, but look at what Jesus says. He cries out, stop, and then he heals the servant's ear. Whoa, that's incredible. Nobody should be able to do something that amazing. This is a miracle. This is further proof that well, Jesus really is who he says he is. Jesus is the son of God. So why don't these religious leaders and these Pharisees understand? Why is Jesus allowing himself to be arrested like this? Why does evil seem to be winning? In the darkness of the night, it seems like Jesus is losing the fight. But remember, Jesus has a great plan and nothing is going to stop him. This is all still part of God's awesome rescue plan. As Jesus is taken away by the guards, he's still in charge. It's all happening for a reason.